Hello, and good evening everybody. How are we all doing today? Uh, I hope you've had a good day. I hope you're having a good day, if it's not uh, your evening time. Um, today, we are starting Metal Gear May. Through the month of May, um, we are going to be playing Metal Gear Solid on the PS1. And for the first time in quite a few years, I could say with Resident Evil, um, from from the beginning. So let's see how that goes, shall we? Should we get started? Is that gonna? Yep, there we go. All right. Remember, Metal Gear Solid is weird, and the circle button is confirmed. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing it on that because. I don't have time for hard difficulties. I'm not sure how much we're going to get through, since a lot of Metal Gear Solid is cutscenes. It's very blurry. Funkiness, right? What have we got? This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. Thanks, Colonel. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, let's go. Let's. Try not to set off any alarms straight away, shall we? Right, we'll, we'll first go. Got that. No, all right, that went that went badly right from the off. Where'd he go? Did not know you could dive into the water. Also, didn't know you could run across here. Right. That one. Well, mm. huh? what was that noise? Yeah, let's just get more people's attention. I'll do another ration. Good. Oh, he's coming, coming this way. Can I take this guy out? Where are you gonna go? Damn. Oh well. 
that didn't go brilliantly, but at least there's no one else here now. Yet. Alright, rations are full, tell you what. Ah, there we go. Lift is on its way down. Wait for that guy to come out. Which way are you going? Straight down. Fantastic. Head to the left we go. Forget how cinematic this game is for a PS1 game. It's very impressive. Of course, Kojima slaps his own name across the reveal of Snake. Somehow I don't think we're going to get very far. Lots of cutscenes. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. Thanks, John. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hind D? A Hind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Alright, let's see how many alarms are set off this time. Hopefully not. Are we actually starting yet, though? Or is it? Have we got more conversation? Oh, we've got to get there are only 18 mailing, hours we? left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. Not no, I'm serious. Snake. Not appropriate. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. 
But first, let me explain about your solar town radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. Nanomachines. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. I didn't realize none of the machines got a reference this early in the series. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. Of course we'll it's made from currently existing technology. Radar, so contact us by if codec it anytime you want. Then it couldn't exist. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm I sorry, did manage what? to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. These cutscenes are long, aren't they? It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Where are we going, Snake? What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Well, that's where we're going. I can't see it from here. The I'll first... let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. First, we got some things to pick up. So. to get into the center so I can get the sock on. <laughs> Alright, he just ran straight past me. Right, I'm not going to be able to... to get that, am I? I have to be here. And then I can run across. That's chaff grenades, that's not even the sock on. Damn. Sock on's in here. Oh god, what are the buttons? What are the buttons? Alright. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a, a long while. Fortunately. I don't think anyone saw that. Damn. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't have just let me get away with it, could you, Chris? 
<laughs> right, I do want the chaff grenades though. So I'm gonna have to into the middle and then back out that way. Yeah. Right. Surveillance camera? I'm gonna have to... do that. Get the stun grenades. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not go that way. I've gotta go that way, haven't I? No. How did I even get here? I went around. Russian don't need that. I'm gonna sneak all the way up. Huh? Probably what, get what seen. No, never mind. Hmm. Hide in this hole. I hope you don't come all the way along. Alright. Yes, I know. I know that's how to get in. Snake, that. Oh. this is McDonald Miller. Master, Mi it's Master been a long Miller. Time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Yeah, Passing yeah. on the skills to a new generation, huh? Oh, I don't quite believe Campbell you. Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Weird that, Miller. You look almost exactly like the guy who just got into the hind and flew off. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those That's covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Hello, hello. Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's Have killed I? three people? Yeah. Say so he's using stealth, too. Stealth? Well, There's that's... an intruder besides me? I was gonna say, yeah, anyway, that's not me. I, I want, want you to increase two people. the security detail on the chief. I haven't killed three people yet. This takes a while. Alright, what is that? Is that ammo? Is that another ration? I think it's another ration. I do not need another ration. Press the action button to go down the stairs. That's what you were going to tell me, Carl. It's fine. Wait. 
you can tell me now, Colonel. Use the elevator to change floors. That's how there I want to be Colonel. Yep, thank that you. you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. No, wrong button. Half grenades, excellent. Right, you're a level two door, so I can't get into you yet. I can get in here. Thermal goggles, yes. They'll be useful. Don't make too much noise, but I, I can't walk anywhere. I've just got to run and clack, clack, clack about the place. Oh, oh, no, don't get too close. Did they say they were on? Oh, I should have paid attention to the guards when they were talking. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Oh, yes, the DARPA chief. This could be. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Forget about all the tutorials. Hmm. Which way are we going in here? It all looks kind of the same. Oh, is that ammo? Sighting of Meryl? Wait a minute. How do I I'm sure I I'm sure you can look down. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. I am in first person view mode. Oh. Ah, that's how. Oh, there's Meryl. Is that a woman? Not you. I am not going to do the Easter egg for Meryl because it's not appropriate. Hello, DARPA Chief, if that is in fact your real name. I'm here to save you. Did You're I? the DARPA Chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. 
Really? It's true. Yeah, me too, actually. I think when they act actively get the characters to speak about the, the buttons on the controls. Hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of things that this game does that experimental weapon. no a other PS1 game really does. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. You knew? It can't be. You knew? <laughs> there it is. Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data think and then proceed to mass production. After Zanzibar Land and Outer Heaven, or Outer Heaven, it's one of the two. Uh, from Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2. If but, it hadn't you know, been for the revolution. The revolution? Wouldn't Rex have... has fallen into the hands of terrorists. What, what, what am I trying to say? Yeah, Rex. the Metal Gear program doesn't go well. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Shut up in there, hey. will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. It's a bit suspicious. Waving, waving the guard away. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. That's Baker what you knows said, one, Snake. and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? I don't know how One of the I'm gonna do the Psychomantis fight. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Let's go on. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. I so never noticed the, the graphics were so wobbly. Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. I wonder if it's because I'm Do you know rendering this at a higher Baker? internal resolution. Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. 
Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Thanks, Here, Mr. Take Anderson. This. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Sorry, what? As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh, something's going on. What is it? Oh no, I don't think he's very well. Okay. Uh, dead. Great deductive reasoning skills there. Right. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack. No. I Colonel. I don't are you think so. From me? It might be a heart Absolutely attack. Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm the just here chief. as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. What is happening? Okay. Hello? Let me out? Okay. Thank God they censored that. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful! I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, oh. are you? Something's about to go Open down. Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Oh, come on. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! Well... I'm telling you, shoot! Thank you. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, wait. Why are you focusing on me? Oh, I'm all... on a ration, all right. Oh, 
Don't let more ammo, please. There we go. Oh, grenades. I was in the wrong place for that, wasn't it? Right, I have a whole three bullets left. Thanks for the help. Wait. Unnecessary. You fool! You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Hmm, I wonder what's going on. Just wasting all your ammo, Meryl. Okay. Good girl. Just like that. Interesting. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Yep, sounds like it. Right, we can go on over. Alright. We got anything under any of these beds. I would like to have more ammo. If possible, please. Just like that. And that. Excellent. Alright, anything else in this area that we can get to? We can't get in here just yet, that's the level. Six door. Come on, where's the lift? There we go. B two for the uh, thingy. President Armstack. President's right. We're gonna. Give it a save. What can I do for you, Snake? Save, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's I, I skip that accidentally. Never mind. Never mind. Right, where are we? Level one doors around here somewhere that has this one. C four. Excellent. One of these rooms has. Famas in it, but also um, lasers. Is it this room? This room just has ammo, I think. Back on bullets, full. Okay, good. You're a level two door. Right. Where 
where's my C4 at? Here we go. Ah, oh, nope, nope, nope. How do I detonate the C4? It will probably tell me if I press circle to detonate. This might be the room with the, uh... Oh, there's a trap there, that's for sure. Alright, we've got several traps. Oh, it's full. Okay, fine. Where is my next wall to blow? There it is. No, there it is. Boom. Doesn't detonate them all. The sounds in this game are iconic. I love it. I love this game so much. But I'm not that good at it. So I fully expect to die to Revolver Ocelot. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. The yes, I know. The jamming. No, I don't want to save any new file. Oh, okay, never mind. Thank you, mailing. Pretty sure I can blow up both of these walls. Right, that's a level six door. Ration, probably. That's a gun. That 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 that's a gun turret. We don't want that. Right, let's go fight Revolver Ocelot. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. <laughs> right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. It's so weird how... Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Just a this random side character made. from the first the Metal Gear Solid becomes the most... Six uh, bullets. More than enough to well, in fact, the most vital character. The whole saga revolves around Ocelot. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! Right, where are you? Draw! Ow. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm stuck on a wall. I love to reload during a bit. Alright. The light. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just gonna chase you around in circles, man. Oh 
Okay. He's going better than I thought. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. Don't you want to settle this? Yeah, I do, but you keep running away from me. That was risky. There we go. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> Well, that didn't go well for you, did it? I saw. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. I like the way he's just carrying his hand away. I like you. I have no name. You have two names. That, that exoskeleton. I don't think he's okay. Who the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, yes, it was it was Jim a little bit messed you. up. You're, you're from it's, the Pentagon. Uh, Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? <laughs> I can't be... So matter of fact. That's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not going to let you say that. That's a bit of a thing today. to say. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. 
If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Wow. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Damn! Fortunately, I have exactly what tells me the oh, code. Oh, that's right. right. It here. should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact there her right go. away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from no launching, worries. Thank you. it's him. That'll be good. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Did oh, it? Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever Thank you very been. much. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? Get hit with that no. barn hammer. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. One of the benefits of keeping Maybe hold of all my old games from the 1990s. Every year. Buff. It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Such a clever way of doing it, though. Like, a really... In other words, there's good plenty of available nuclear material measure. and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain Have you our never own played policy, the original Metal Gear Solid before? We need a weapon of overwhelming power. I like you mean uh, Metal the gear. Yes. You've never you know, seen it before. Suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts wow, in military okay. budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons. It's, uh, yes, and after my company lost quite impressive. To produce the Air Force's one of the, next you're, line I mean, of you're right. Jet, it is. It's a very Metal popular Gear game. Was our last ace in the hole. It's. It's That's very good. That's why we good. pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project. Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production, and no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. I. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, right. I started out a bit I earlier than that. I have played business. all of those three. Anyway, Metal Gear Obviously, was going to be part of Quake Three. The Excellent. Exercise were analyzed. I Star Trek Generations. I don't remember company. a huge amount about. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. But I do remember Here, enjoying it. Th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. I might have to go back I to it this if I can. Exists. It's been a, it's been a Make long sure time you since I played this it. To Jim, to your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. Sorry, I'll try not to talk uh, over the dialogue. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? 
You've got to stop them. Oh, no worries. If it goes um, public, my company and yeah, I it's been a long time finished. since I played Star Trek Generations, so I might what? have to go back to it. Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Oh, Metal something bad's happening. Oh. What? What did you do to me? Oh no! Oh, oh no! It can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So they, they actually went in. Did it? What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... <sighs> yep. Rip the arms, tech president. What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than like you can trust me. Yeah, too much coffee can Get cause a heart attack. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what, what the get hell was that myself? ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Right, we got more health, we got our health back, we've got a level 2 card. Anything in here? Nope. That's a level 4 door. Why did I, why did I blow the hole in the door? I see ya. Right. Should probably save it because if I rem remember rightly, Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some. There are so many. The um, alert sound when you get caught is probably one of the most widespread. I think. Right, we got soldiers here now. You level. Your grenade room. Can I. Any more grenades? I'll take the grenades. Oh, yeah? How did that go? I've got Armada 2 in. Uh, in my uh, good old games library but um, as with a lot of Star Trek games they came out on PC and I wasn't really a PC gamer until much later. Famas is in here. Radmin VPN. Okay. Right, this is where the Famas is. Go, FAMAS. FAMAS bullets. <laughs> that good. I do need to play Star Trek Armada. It is on my list of... Uh, Star Trek games to go back and play. Oh, oh god, where is he going? He's going that way, good. That's a level 1 door, we've been in there. That's a level 5 door, right, we've done all of these doors. We can go for the exits. Right, up 
to be one, I think, now, and I can call Meryl. So we'll get the codec frequency off of the back of the box. Um, I did watch Picard Season 3, Episode 10. I have finished all of, of uh, all of Picard. Um, it was very good. Overall, as a season. I have some gripes, I have some problems with it. But as a season, much better than uh, Seasons 1 and 2. 140.15 Right there on the back of the box. I don't know if you can see it Yeah, really it's really well designed like I do think that um, Hideo Kojima started um, Believing his own hype a little bit towards the end. He's still very good. He's still very good. Don't get me wrong. But I think Metal Gear Solid, the original, is is peak pinnacle. Right. Who are you? Hello, Meryl. I Merrill. was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? Season one or two are no? best when not watched. It's yeah, I'd agree him. with that. I think that's and fair. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My oh, eyes? Snake. They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? He Don't does. Worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. It does do the a lot of no the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? At least because when he first meets both you just like Meryl him. and Melee. the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. <sighs> so Sounds kind of fishy. You can so skip you the dialogue the if you want, want but mm, you miss a lot sorry. of the story. I'm not sure. Obviously. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, Excuse me? Met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. So the DARPA chief. Okay. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it. But I have no there idea is what some Me neither. Dodgy yes. dialogue in this game. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still As alive? We've just seen. Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. 
Second floor basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. Unbelievable. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You I mean, she's very, very clearly green. We can see. It's all Look. over. Good luck doesn't last forever. So I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. One of the things that Hideo Kojima is famous for but when I thought about is, my bullets tearing um, through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Movie shooting references. At targets and shooting at living, He's breathing a big people are different. Movie fan. Ever since and, I was a little uh, girl, we'll put I a lot of references in the games. A soldier. For example, every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day. And I could finally see I'll show real once this uh, and now, cutscene is so over, now? I'll show something. You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're Music just a little jumpy from the combat well. high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Yep. Just this... like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. All right. Let's come out of this. Can I pause it? Right. Yes, I can. Excellent. Um, yeah, you're right. There is a lot of dialogue in, in these games. Um, it gets silly. Metal Gear Solid 4 has an hour and a half long uh, end cutscene. Um, but what I'll do, right, bring up the, the, the camera here. So... Um, Hideo Kojima and his movie references. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I've got a copy of the original Metal Gear on the NES right here. And that cover art is Solid Snake from that game. But you may also notice that it's literally just a copy of Michael Bean as Kyle Reese from the original Terminator. It's literally just copied artwork. Um he does he takes a lot of inspiration in inverted commas from uh other other pieces of media and films um big boss looks like sean connery um there is i think metal gear 2 solid snake the cover is sylvester salone rambo there's a lot of just ripped off from other other media, um, I say ripped off. It's it's a a loving uh, homage to um, to to cinema. Right, we're gonna. I think we can get the sock on silencer in one of these rooms. Is it in here? Let's put the thermal goggles back on. Just to be 
you safe. Right, what are you? Cardboard box. The camera, what the the top the top down camera perspective or the switching to first person? Yeah, it's it 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 does take some getting used to. It is very clearly like old. Ooh. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, yeah, it's gas very, is released. Yeah, it's very different to, to shooters. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. It's not use That's that phrase. This is very condescending. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. That is true. That is true. That is the 90s. No. It's this door here. This has the Stockholm silencer in it. Mind detector. No. Where's the silencer? I swear it's in one of these rooms. Might be downstairs. Wait for this guy to come past. Can you pick up the diazepam? Uh, I don't actually know. Where's the? Where do we get the diazepam from? The first floor. Thank you. Yes, I think it is. And welcome. Uh, oh God. All right. Pay less attention to the ch Okay, I need to find somewhere to hide now. Oh god. I'm gonna go back into a uh a room hide if I can, because that did not go well. Right, okay, good. Oh god, there's somebody coming. Right. Well then. Uh, no, I'm I'm taking the coward's way out and playing it on easy because I haven't played this in a very long time and as you may have just seen, I'm not very good at it. Do you go past? Come on, are you gonna go past so I can get out of the room? Yes, there you go. Oh god! I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna leg it. I'm going in here. And I'm just gonna hide in the corner. 
Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come off it. Try holding into the tanks, yeah. I need to get to them first, I've got no ammo. I'm out of ammo, and I'm stuck. Balls! Alright. Alright. Where? Okay. So we're heading back up the top to get the. Hello! How are you doing? Welcome to me embarrassing myself with Metal Gear Solid by the looks of things. Cardboard box and chat grenades. Um, yeah. That is true. I can. I kind of. I forgot about that. I got a little bit, a little bit flustered. Uh, no, this cannot be played in co-op. It is single player only. I do kind of want the mind detector though, that's the thing. Oh, what was that? balls. Hmm. Alright. We're gonna go we're gonna go down and we're gonna get the silencer. And then we're gonna try and come back. Oh dear. Right, we didn't get spotted by him. That's good. Right. Right. Just try and choke this guy out. There we go. Socom Suppressor, yes please, thank you. Much, much better. Now we can go up, take care of the guy that was causing me problems, get the mine detector. Well, he was already asleep, so... Uh, I don't think you. I, 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 you probably didn't notice. Right. I'm worried about that guy spotting me now. Right. Let's turn. Let's wait till he goes back and then puts a bullet in him. Oh, he's going to come further this way. You'd best not come further this way. Right, he's going that way. I think you can use the thermal goggles to detect mines. You can, uh, and if you crawl over the mines, uh, you. Um, goes all the way that way. Um, if you crawl over the mines, you just pick them straight up. So, if you just crawl through the area, that works pretty easily. Right, let's wait for him to go past again, because if he goes all the way past... Where are you going to go now? Are you going to go... Oh... Yeah, it is. It's... It's a great game. It's a great game. Why are you not going... Okay. 
Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come past eventually. Alright, come on. You gonna go all the way around this time? No. No you're not. Or are you? Don't like how you're just... Alright, he's gone that way. Is he going to keep going that way? No. Where? I don't know why he's just loitering outside this room now. Is it because... It's because I'm in it, isn't it? He dropped some stuff. He dropped loot. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Mm, let's not get too close. If I save it here, will I have to do everything else again if I you fail the um oh, okay. Snake listen Best not fail the um It does save by room, you're right. Wait, didn't Meryl say... No, she didn't... Do I need to call Meryl? Yeah, I do. You're right. Oh, it's not safe that I'd called Meryl. Ah... Uh... How are you? Right. I was We've really... Been... We've been through this conversation once already, so we're going to skip it. And I'd really rather not go through it again, so I don't particularly want to fail getting out into the... Um Well, yeah, through the hangar, through the door. Come on, then. Right. I guess now we just wait for a call? Let's not wander around too much. If I call her, will it? Will she say she's opened the door? Snake, don't be so imp. Yeah, we were just talking about that. How it's a really good anti-piracy measure, but also a really good, good fourth wall break. To, um, so include the player. But where is it hiding? Yeah, fortunately, I do have my original copy right here. Come on, Meryl. Give me a call. Yes, it does use PAL. Oh, it did. Back in the day. Ah, uh, here we go. Snake, I unlocked the cargo right. door for you. We went through this as well. So, I'm just gonna skip it.
Alright. I am going to do something naughty. Give me one second. Right. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I didn't just save state to make sure that we don't have to do that room again. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through um, without setting off those sensors. All, all you really missed was... Uh, we got we got into the door, uh, this room. Uh, there's lasers, lots of lasers, and I don't really want to fail this section. So I'm safe scumming it. But we made it. We made it first time. Didn't even need the save scum. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I would rather that as well. Uh, right. So we'll do another save. What's up, Snake? And then uh, we will get some mines, hopefully. Right, did that save? It did. Uh, thermal goggles. Did we say thermal goggles showed mines up? Thermal goggles does show mines up. You're right. So we will. Uh, what now? Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. I like how this, uh, it, um, oh, spin around on the spot. We don't want to spin around on the spot. Um, he, uh, the, the game actually references actual political events and things like the Watergate scandal. I think that's very, uh, very cool. Slowly creep along, hopefully find no more mines. Oh, found something else though. Brilliant line. Pass. Brilliant line. I love it. I love it. This game is so Send good. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. It's literally what I was just doing, man. Oh, oh Christ, don't care. <laughs> I 
did not expect to take a hit that hard. So soon. Okay, cranky. Alright, I need to... Crawl around, I think. No, he can get me there. Alright, I need to get... Need to get closer. Oh, God. Alright, dead again. Do I get to Vulcan Raven? Without him just annihilating me. that way run immediately behind the big boulders uh yeah the uh, the ones on the the left or the right that one probably the one you are okay this one okay cool let's Kickstart the fight off then. Skip the cutscene. Okay, I'm right behind. Are you gonna come get me? I need the grenades. There you are. Don't remember if he moves to come and come and try and get to me. Doesn't look like he's going to. You're a Russian. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Oh god. I took no damage though, I'll take it. You coming? Oh you no, you're still there. You're still there. Now he's on the move. You're right, you can't, it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah, you're enjoying yourself too much. There you are. Yeah. 
Yes, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that was a good one. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate it. Get off my own grenade, please. Yes, that's good. That was good. Maybe not. There's a ration. Rice, all right. Oh, come on. All right, I'm not going this way. Do chaffs do anything with it? They might, you know? That's a good one. That'll do. That'll do. Deadly robotic we voice there not from uh, him. Falcon Raven. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. That's uh... See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, uh, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet that is a next, really good point. I did think that. Not yet. Just check inside the tank. Yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Or, um... Prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. Thirst for his blood. Alright, we get our life back, and we get some more life. It is very Kojima. Anything up this way? Ration. Excellent. But before we do... You caught Snake? Yes, I did. Thank you. Sorry, I am skipping mailings little stories every time, because they uh, don't really add anything. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? 
That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is one oh, one Nastasha. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms uh, Absolutely no problem. No fear of them um, but thank the you for joining, broken, thank you for chatting. Um, if you're interested, we will be playing problem. more Metal Gear Solid Snake, on Sunday uh, at the same time. Floor. So if you are free then and would like to come back and chat, you are more than welcome to. Um, they would be good. Awesome, thank you very much. Um, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, we are... Yeah, Metal Gear Solid for every Sunday this month with a few Mondays interspersed in between. So this Sunday coming, and then next Monday, and then every other Sunday until the end of the month where we'll do Sunday and uh, mon a Monday, Monday the 29th, whereas hopefully we'll be finishing up Metal Gear Solid. So yeah, feel free to come by and uh, uh, hang out. We'll see you then. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Mm, get spotted. How did I not get spotted? Uh. Right. What else is up here? Oh god, that's what else is up there. Damn. Okay. Okay. Dead again. Um, 1998, um, Metal Gear Solid came out. Right, so don't get caught because they dropped gas on us. I think it was 1998 that this came out. See if it says on the box. This is 1999, so it might come out in in Europe in 99. Um, because we got games quite late in Europe back in those days. Do we not have to have that conversation again? I'm going to hide in this corner because May didn't see me in the corner. Sneak around. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. That'll do. Uh, yes. Yes, it was for consoles. This, uh... Came out on PS1. Even in the mid 90s, PC graphics were uh, quite significantly better than um, console graphics. Well, which way are you gonna go? You just sit and walk around that area, okay? Back of that. 
I do not want to be in the back of that. So I'm gonna go up here, get to the lift. This did get a PC release though. If I remember rightly. Big box PC release. Alright, we made it through. This guy's day. Sorry, mate. Uh, that is not really a way to go, but uh, it's the lift, isn't it? Am I going to meet? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to ruin this guy's day as well, I think. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. That's a level four door. That's a level six door. That's a level four. That's a level three. What's in the level three? Nikita launcher. Okay, good. this the what is it snake I'm saving again yes please um is this the the gray fox fight so complete yeah don't really need to listen to me Ling. No, this is... Oh god, do I... I need the oxygen mask, don't I? Really, for this? Do I have the oxygen mask? No, I don't. I skipped that accidentally. Snake, watch out! That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Who are you anyway? Wait. 
Did we not One speak to Deep? Hands. Did we not speak to Deep Throat already? Right. We go this way, we go around. I'm gonna take out the cameras. Sleep the room. Get my oxygen back. I love the design of this, it's so good. Still losing oxygen, though. Might be in one of these rooms. Ration. You're a level four. Gas mask, that would go. It still ticks down though, just not as not as quickly. C4. Come on, the kit on missiles. Watch out, grenades. Excellent. Got my gas mask on, that's why. I could one hundred percent be seen there. One hundred percent. Don't know how I made it through. Can't use the Nikita. Okay. Something's going on. I love this cutscene. like they were cut by some type of blade. Yes, thank you, Snake. You've done done a good job there of telling us exactly what's going on. Oh, one second. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. Is it a ghost? Famas bullets. Sweet. 
spooky. Very spooky. Hello. Oh no. This guy spilt spilt his uh, jar of strawberry jam all over the floor. He's fine, he's just trying to eat the strawberry jam off the floor before it goes bad. Which is not a recommended thing to do, to be fair. Alright. That is how you get ants. All that strawberry jam on the floor. Oh, poor Articon. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world. You're such a weeb, Otacon. Such a weeb. What is it, revenge? And that's is fine. Nothing no so shame. Trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Alright, first things first. We need... Trying to defeat you with a weapon like that, I'm trying to punch you. I more. Where have you gone? Ah, oh, too late. Got there too late. I keep punching this guy, don't I? Like, there's no... I mean, it's giving me famas bullets, so... I'm gonna try famas bullets next time. Can use them. Okay, I can. It's probably better. I am running 
out of chaff grenades, however. Chaff grenade. I guess we're just punching now. Unless, unless they've respawned down here. Oh, we can't just punch them. We can't just punch them. What do you think we can do? is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. What do you think we'd be doing? Oh, okay. He, he got me. That's good, Snake. I guess Hurry I've got... Up and catch me. I guess I've got to hurt him more. Where you are. I'm here, Snake. There you are. He's so messed up. He's so messed up. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Oh, okay. Hurt me more. I mean, if that's if that's what you want, I will. More. More. He is, but you find out why. So, unfortunately, this game kind of relies on you having knowledge of the previous Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 games. Can I get up? I need to, I need to get away from him. Don't get that, don't get too close. There we go, I think I've hurt him enough. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Or not. What? Not again. What's happening? This is a lot darker than I remember. This should be where we find out Gray why Fox. he was uh, Colonel, obsessed with you. That ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? 
It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. So I think Zanzibar Today's was genome soldiers were born the events of Metal Gear 1. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Nice, uh, How long are you gonna stay in there? Easter egg there to one of Hideo uh, Kojima's other are games. You one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? There's another, um... Sorry, but no. Movie there's reference there? In first. fact, there's two, two movie references. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President it's Baker? Always shady. Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. And now, a nuke. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? I think that's been said a couple of times now, Otacon. Yeah, but that's not all I think. 
If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and They do repeat themselves a lot. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Well, you can't help make it right, buddy. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father... He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. You have no idea. We oh. must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our You've DNA. You've clearly not played Metal Gear Solid Five. Otherwise, you'd know what your dad was up to. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind, but the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind—it's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. That might be the way it goes. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, it's my harsh, duty to Trick. destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. More conversation. Here we go. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. Oh, that's, uh... Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Oh, Did you hear music? Something? Wasn't that some kind of music? Yes, it was. What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. That was... That was a quick one. You're right. That was... A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? Christ. Objectification of women once again. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. 
Where's that? Oh, Don't be on. so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad <laughs> luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And That's Japanese literally the same thing from Pirates Notes. They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Sounds like an excuse for right. Hideo Kojima to get to take responsibility. footage from his old Science games and his new one. Thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. I didn't realize it could bring me ammo and rations. That might be useful. Hello again, how are you doing? Uh, you have arrived at... His leg did suddenly get better, you're right. Uh, and... Right. 14112, did you say it was? That's... No, that's not ring Merrill. No response from Merrill. 14112. You still haven't found Merrill? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Right, let's see if there's on a con. Right. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing oh machine. Oh my god. Maybe it would be better if engineers like Unarmed. us just stop making things. I don't know. Oh no, no. I'll I'll give you that. That was that was a terrible joke, but also amazing. It's my favourite kind of joke. But not unharmed. No, he was he was unarmed but not unharmed, you know. <laughs> Alright, is that all you've got to say, Mailing? Alright, good. Okay. Um. Right. He is now one armed. Um, unfortunately, I think you've rejoined us at just the. just as we're about to finish. It is getting quite late for me now. I do have to be up for work in the morning. So. This feels like as good a place as any to call it a night, I'm afraid. Um, so we just saved, we'll do that. Um, if you did get to share a pun word, yes. You know, the, your, your, your puns and jokes, that is, that is excellent. 
Puns, puns so good it killed the stream. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is true. Uh also. Well not yeah. Um We are back on Thursday for a special May the fourth Star Wars themed stream. We'll be playing Star Wars Rogue Squadron on the N64. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately or fortunately, there is no cyborg. At least I hope there's no cyborg ninja in the house just waiting for me to to uh, to cut the transmission and probably more. Um. So yeah, sorry. What was this? Thursday, Star Wars, May the fourth, um, eight o'clock, uh, UK time. We'll be playing Rogue Squadron. We're back with Metal Gear Solid again. On Sunday. Oh, oh, that's true. We'd be a pretty bad ninja if I could see him. Um, so, yeah. Feel free to jump back in on Thursday if you want some Star Wars. Or on Sunday if you want more Metal Gear Solid. Um, you're more than welcome at any time, of course. Um, we will be doing Metal Gear Solid for the rest of the month after 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 start after Thursday, and then next month once we finish that we might go back to Star Trek Elite Force Two, and finish that off, get that finished before we um move on to the next the next game. Um, I'd like to play something that I've not played before. I mentioned in a previous stream that I haven't played a huge amount of N64 games. So we might do Mario 64, because I'm not. That is probably my least played Mario game, actually. So we, we might do that. I am open to suggestions, of course. If you have any games that you would like me to play, to, to try out, um, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at RetroGameDen. You can let me know there if you've got any suggestions. Um... Feel free to drop a follow here for notifications when we next go live. Or, um, again, on Twitter, I keep that up to date with planned streams, usually every Sunday at 8pm. Sometimes there are impromptu streams or special occasions uh, streams like we have this, this coming Thursday. And I think, yeah. Once again... Thank you all for uh, joining me this evening. Thanks for chatting. Uh, we've had a few new people in chat. Uh, Bed and Sis, thank you. We had... Who who was talking about Metal Gear a lot? Nikki Licko, I believe. That was good. Um, thank you, Chris, for drop, dropping by again. And, of course, a Grumpy Witch for your wonderful moderation and chat, as always. Thank you all. Um, I hope you have a good week. I hope to see you on Thursday. If not, I hope to see you on Sunday for more Metal Gear Solid. Um, but until then, yes, have a good week. I hope it is... A pleasant one for you. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.